Hello, Konnichiwa. This is Kuniko. Let's fold origami together. We are going to fold this doll and we were starting with body. Grab a square sheet of paper, any size between 6 and 12 inches will do it, and fold it to a triangle and fold it again. Then open. That's how we start. Now you have the center crease. And from the bottom, fold it up to the top vertex and then make a pinch on the edge. Please look at my finger. It's not all the way. You pretend you are folding all the way, but you see that the edge of the paper, I only pinched uh, about one inch. And as a result, you have an X crease and four pinches. And turn it over to the color side. On the top triangle, we are dividing this vertical line by three. So this is a trifold. And you only do that top part. Let me show you what I mean. So one, two, three. Dividing by three. You don't have to mark it. You don't have to use a ruler. Just I measure. That will be fine. I'm just doing this so you can see it. And keep that folded. Next, you are, fold, you are folding the top folded edge to the bottom of the white triangle you just created. Make a good creasing line because you are going to unfold and look at the creasing line. That crease will be reversed. What do I mean by that? Uh, from the dented crease, you are going to turn this into like a mountain. And as a result, it looks like that. Next. You fold from the right to left. Simply, you are doing the vertical crease by folding from the right to left. And look at the pinch crease you made. I'm marking it so that you can see. You don't have to. And on the top, please look at the right corner and there's a white trapezoid, top of the trapezoid line, about the half. So that is about half or a quarter inch off of the top right corner. And then that is a point that will be connected with the pinch mark all the way. You don't have to draw the line, I'm just showing you. And then that is a crease you are going to make. Connect those two points and it makes a crease carefully and let's focus on the top here's a folded edge and there's a, another folded edge closest folded edge right here these are the lines you are going to fold together. You are bisecting the triangle you just saw and makes a nice sharp crease. Very good. Try to be precise and sharp. Turn it over. You will do the same thing. Here's a pinch and here's a top trapezoid and the top side of the white trapezoid is divided and you are tracing the folded line in the back. You can just copy that line by looking at the back flap. That's what I'm doing actually. 
and make a sharp crease. And we will do one more. And that is, we were repeating the same thing we did in the first back side. Here's a folded edge, and the crosses folded edge is right here bisecting that triangle. And make a sharp crease. And now, next. It's very simply, very simply, looking at the top and the bottom, we are going to unfold it flat. And that looks like a kimono or the gown left over right. Or you can do left over right or right over left, whichever. And in the back, fold the bottom to the top center. Nice and simple. And that's it. The body is done. When you unfold halfway, it stands in my palm. This is very three-dimensional origami model. I'm excited. Let's do the head. The head part is a quarter size of the paper that used you used for the body. Fold it in half to triangle. Fold the bottom to the top. This is much smaller paper, so it might be hard, but we can do this. Fold the two bottom triangle vertex vertices to the top vertex. And next, I am just making a little gap between the two triangle flaps. That's all I'm doing. You folded two triangle flaps matching at the center, but makes a makes a center a little wider so that you have a little gap between the left and the right. And turn it over to the back side. Next, fold down the top layers. Let's see. How many? One layer and second layer. Two layers folded down to the bottom. And it looks like a fox, but we are making bunnies shape, right? And let's fold, uh, uh, turn it over first though. Turn it over to the back side and fold the right corner towards the center. I am narrowing this shape so that um, it looks like a bunny. Bunny's head is narrow. So do the opposite side. By folding, the head becomes skinnier. Turn it over. Now you see, it looks like bunny's head. And on the bottom, there's a pocket. You can use this pocket to be connected with the body. And now it's time to draw. 